Good evening, everyone, and welcome Hello. to tonight's stream. Somehow Sam's vanished. Let me find you again, Sam. I, I'm here. Sam's with us. I'm a real, I'm a real boy. <laughs> now we are on a new um, computer this evening, so please let us know if there's any. Uh, you're on your non-potato. Um, well, to be fair, even my potato was pretty decent. That's for, yes, it was. But it had a, a, a whole lot of other business going on as well. It did. I could just be a disembodied voice. I don't think anyone would mind. Yeah, for some reason, it's just refusing to show you. Thank you. They, they don't turn up to watch me. Apparently not. Um, no, I, you keep keep going. That's, hold on. Uh, that's... We'll find you. We'll find you. All right. Okay. Oh, I'll hold on. Going. Let's I'm try fine. that. Mm, is that going to behave? That's good. I'd, I've got. Uh, if you want to concentrate on making that work, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll Sam engage, can talk. I'll engage with the people while you're basically just your webcam on a black screen. It's not a black screen anymore. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, because I'm I'm watching time delayed like everybody else. Why you know? is it not behaving? It was working five minutes ago. Uh, I don't know. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Do you, want to, do you want to turn it off and turn it on again? I, I mean, might. you know, that's that's a viable option. Uh, so, so there you go. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I could be like, I could be the voice of the Mister on, <laughs> which, is, which is a somewhat ancient uh, reference, but uh, uh, not too I, ancient for me. Stingray. I, I, I oh no, it's it not Stingray. It's the other one, Captain Scarlet. Very good. Um, do you want to tell everybody what we're doing tonight? While I try to get your face on. Sure, stream. although you probably know better than I am. So this evening, we're going to have a look at the brand new South Eastern High Speed. This time, uh, not being played by Matt. Uh, Natalie's yeah. going to be driving this evening. Uh, I'm here to be uh, to, to keep you nice people in the chat company and to make fun of Nat's driving. Thanks. Um, but I don't, I don't imagine that I'll need to do that. Uh, I, I suspect quite strongly that... that uh, the chat will take care of that one. Uh, question came up, is the lighting in the tunnels being fixed? I think the, the, the way to think of it is improved. We're aiming to make it hey! work properly. Uh, but, uh, but there will be improvement. How far that improvement goes remains to be seen. Oh, I exist now. You exist now. Oh, good. Well, there you go. Well, that wasn't that, awkward. That, that, the start of that stream went flawlessly. Yeah. Uh, the, the manual is really helpful, says Sposs. Apart from the first page, uh, page uh, four, which uh, which largely sounds rather a lot like it's from the TGV manual. So that's going to be fixed, uh, but uh, imminently. But someone somewhere did not proofread. Um, <laughs> it happens. Should we go for a nice summer's day? Yeah, there you go. Uh, apparently, my camera is static. Whatever you did oh, didn't work. What? I, I'm just there pulling an expression. For goodness I sake, why won't it just work? And yet I'm in real time here on the microphone. Um, so uh, so there you go. This is what happens when you use untested technology. Oh, hold on. Yeah. What did you do? <sighs> you just took a screenshot of me, or is that the yeah? That's what I did. I took a me, screenshot uh, that you leave, of you leaving the corner of your screen to keep you motivated. You've disappeared again now. I don't understand why it won't work. All right, I'm I'm leaving the call. Yeah, leave the call and come call back. Me back. Hold on, guys. Hold on, I've got to find a button. Hang on, where are you? Where am I? Where's anybody? I'm going to hang go. up on you. Well, Sam will be with us momentarily. Um, let's call him back. Hello. Hello, I think everyone's going to get a nice shot of um, my chat now. Well, OK, uh, well, there's worse things that can happen. Um, yeah. uh, why are our offices not marked as a notable landmark in the manual? Because because the offices aren't really visible uh, from Are within the uh, uh, right. uh, from from within the route itself. I like how you've called up the page of the manual that is the page from the TGV. That's that's impressive. There we so, go. That Even the manual now. has bugged. Yeah, it's just. It's Teams just, was just that, not playing nice not, there. That not wasn't the, me. The smoothest. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah. Uh, we're using Microsoft Teams. Yeah, because it integrates with everything else that we use. Yeah. yeah. Teams always works flawlessly. Yeah. Well, it, no, it works. It, it works when it works, and then when it doesn't, it doesn't. I have no it's... idea why that didn't work. It was working until it wasn't. 
It's just straightforward. Has yeah. the livery designer for the Class 37 been fixed? Now, no. we've seen comments about this. Yeah, and, I have uh, an answer to that. So oh, there is a fix. They know how to fix it. The fix is imminent. Um, we're going to try and get it out to you as quickly as possible. Um, exactly when that will be, I don't know, but it will be soon. So, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, all right, that's fine. And uh, and for those of you who don't know already, we do have uh, a, a bunch of fixes going in, uh, particularly addressing this route, and it's happening fairly quickly. Yeah. So uh, I don't have an exact timeline for you, but we're talking days rather than weeks, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and that will that will be a long and it addresses quite a few things. Um, that we just couldn't get into the build that we have to submit early and then you've got to submit again in order to get patches through it's the the, the choice was uh delaying by a couple of weeks or going on time and on time is already delayed by quite a bit so uh, so yeah so apologies to have to wait for a patch but uh, but it is coming along soon uh and as soon as we've got a date we'll let you know and uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, Jack is asking, "How do you get the rainbow livery?" Luck. It's random. Uh, it's it's luck. I saw on a stream earlier that apparently you've got a four the four percent chance of the uh, of the train you're driving having the rainbow livery. Is that it? Yeah. 4%. I don't think I have it. Let's have a look. We did not get lucky with it. No, but and but one of the AI trains on the route might have it. Okay, so keep an eye out for it. You never know. Uh, are there any fixes for the Isle of Wight route? Check the road map to see if there's anything on there. We don't handle fixes for, for Isle of Wight. That's a, a, a Rivet Games route. Um, now, obviously, any feedback you give us, we pass on to them. And vice versa. Uh, but, uh, and they then feed back what fixes they're working on to us to, uh, to let us know that... Uh, that they're working on it, and then we'll stick that on the roadmap. Um, there you go. Yeah. All right. So I think I'm ready to go. But All right. um, are we running a service? Are we running a scenario? What's the? Well, what's I was going to do for? a scenario, but then I didn't want to cheat and do a scenario and have it just tell me everything I need to do. So I went for a service. But like, I'm a little bit nervous about it because this is my first time driving this. That's a good idea. Monda's saying, can we go in the opposite direction? Every time we've done this, we've done St Pancras to Faversham. Do you want me to go and do it the other way? I can. Yeah, are you confident enough about changing the power over at Ebb's Fleet without Yeah, I've got my stickies. That, okay. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, so Nat's been spending most... Yeah, uh, go and find a service that yeah. runs from Faversham to St Pancras. Good idea. No, yeah. we should have thought of that already. Let's do it. We'll should've do it now. Everybody, and... um, keep your fingers crossed for a train bow. Okay. Exactly, it gives us a gives us a fresh chance of uh, of some trainbow action. Um, yeah, oh, there we okay. go. Right, we're going to do another nice summer's day. Jordan can't reset the emergency brake on the three nine five. Now, what I understand is, when the emergency brake is triggered, you have to wait till you come uh, to a full stop, then take it out of emergency brake, back into emergency brake, and back off again. Right, what direction am I going in now? Uh, start at Faversham, go to St Pancras. Okay. Faversham to St Pancras. And uh, uh, Art 4, I was going to wait until later to talk about this, but uh, but tomorrow evening, while well, Natalie's getting set up here, uh, tomorrow evening uh, we are getting the first of, uh, of the second, no, the third uh, challenge. Uh, which is uh, Hauptstrecke München Augsburg, and uh, and we're driving the four two three with all safety systems turned on. What you're this. putting them all on? All of them, uh, and uh, I don't need <laughs> any post-it notes. I've done uh, I've done a couple of runs at it already, and uh, and I tell you, and I know that people have been saying this to me all along, but uh, PZB is a lot of fun. There is nothing wrong with sticky notes. PZB is a, is a massive amount of fun. Um, right, okay. Have we got the train bow or did we not luck out? Oh, I didn't have a look. I don't think we do. We do not. No, the odds aren't in our favour. But, but there you go. Apparently I look like Alex's dad. That's it was nice. worth a shot. Well, you know. Clearly the chat didn't wish hard enough. No. Well, that's, that's life. 
Okay, good. Right. Get us get a set up and off and moving. And if you want to talk us through your procedures as you're doing so, so much the better. Um Yeah I've, I've got it written down, so I have like the con control button I have to hold for two seconds and then I know that when the light goes on I'm supposed to push the pan up and then I'm supposed to push it twice. And I don't know if it's okay being in forward or neutral, but when I did it the first time, I did it in neutral, so I don't want to, like, put it in forward before I'm supposed to. So we're going to go into forward now. Okay. And then I'm going to wait until we're allowed to go, and hopefully we'll move. Press DC button. Do I need to press the DC button? I did put... I thought you press the DC when you go the other way. Oh, man, everyone said I have to press DC this time. Yeah. Okay, let's press DC then. Hold on. Right, we've held that one. Held that one. Okay, am I going to move now is the question. Hold on. Are we moving? Are we moving? Yeah. No. Where? Okay, this is good. I did suggest that you might want to, uh, to ch chuck some practice in this afternoon. Yeah, it's. But, I did uh, chuck some practice in. I'm just not very good. No, it's, it's okay. Hold on, hold on. We'll get this. We'll get it. Right. I did it earlier, and that was fine. Right. So. Oh, I'm, I'm getting I'm, I'm getting shouted at by the mods. <laughs> Why are you getting shouted at? <laughs> Just by the moderators, because because uh, I'm doing the. Uh, there you go. That's you dealt with. Um. Yeah. No, it's fine. Okay. Uh. It, it, no, no, no. I, I'm on moderation go, duty on YouTube this evening, so that's that's fine. Thank I, you, I forgot. I was too busy reading the chat because the chat's really good. The chat helping me. I appreciate it. Yeah. They're great no, 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 at helping absolutely. me. And look, we're moving. Thank you, everyone. There you go. Okay, right. Uh, how are you finding it so far, though? So you've you've done a bit of driving on this already. And, yeah. Uh, so I think... Uh, how are you getting on? For me, I found, like, the... Um, knowing which order to get it started in is quite confusing to begin with and i wrote it down and obviously i forgot which order which one was for which end um but once you actually get going i do i do rather like it um and it's quite nice having a having a challenge because normally it's just like push a button and go so yeah yeah no, no, no that's good now have you got uh have, have you got the lights on uh are you fully set up uh, correctly and uh because this is the thing is that uh you've got to the stage now where you can't get away with oh i'm i'm so new i'm allowed to uh uh to get away i've got matt on line two telling me that you need to be in dc mode i uh, admittedly that was three minutes ago so i think uh, i think largely uh, that's that's fine now now i'll allow you to drive without aws aws is, is quite straightforward to work with uh but even then uh, yeah. yeah headlights is um they're the bane of my existence i never find the remember. switch and i never remember yeah so like normally i'll forget and then it's become a bit of a habit now that i go looking for them while i'm driving why why are there so many wipers uh are we going to fix the instrument lights uh we've noticed that the instrument lights aren't as uh, aren't as vivid as you might expect at the moment they only light up the gauges and then when we did the preview the other day it, uh -huh. it's it's part and parcel of of matt running on a hybrid uh and even when he's running a production version he's still running on a development setup so sometimes you get a, a hybrid uh, a hybrid go and he's just confirmed that yes instrument lights will be addressed in the next one um mm -hmm. i mean it's never ideal that we need to put a patch out immediately after releasing the the route uh but that's just how this one has turned out and it's mm -hmm. it's certainly not something we we want to make normal uh but we've got quite a few fixes coming up and uh, and we'll get that full fix list to you as soon as we have it which is Probably something that I'll be discussing tomorrow in the roadmap catch up call. Okay, I know where the cab light is now. There's a reading light. I'm Will quite... TPWS oh. ever be a thing on TSW2? Matt, over to you. <laughs> Obviously, I've got Matt. I've got Matt on the bat phone here, so uh, I, Mike's not getting a look in this evening. Although if he pings me, I'll know that I'm in trouble. Um, Should we have but, a look uh, outside? But Matt likes to, to 
you know, tune into this while he's doing other things. And then, of course, I start asking him questions, which means that he, he can't do other things. Uh, where can I find the scheduled TSW streams? Uh, we, we put the list up on the forums and on social media. So if you head over into the forums, into the announcement page every Monday, you will see the, the streams we have coming that week. Uh, uh, okay, all right. So so Matt's answer on TPWS is, hopefully, smiley face. We have made a start, smiley face, but no dates, etc. <laughs> so uh, we ought, if, that's a, if that's a thing we're going to be uh, developing, Matt, and you're semi-confident in it, then we should probably put it on the roadmap. Yeah. Sam, does it yes. tell me when I have to change the the power thingy, or do I just Absolutely. have to remember? Ebb's fleet. Yeah. Does it? Oh, it. So I just have to remember it's Ebb's fleet. Ebb's fleet. Okay. Yeah. Um, chat, please tell me when it when we come to Ebb's fleet because I will probably forget. Yeah. Uh, are you are you only streaming at seven twenty p? Um, it's your new computer. You've not you've not tweaked the OBS settings too deeply, have you? I haven't tweaked them. No. What do we need to be doing? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's nothing you can change now. Uh, but it, it's because Nat's running off a new PC, so it's probably gone with defaults, uh, which would be why uh, why uh, 720p rather than 1080. In future, we will. I will change that. Okay. Right. Yeah. No, that's fine. Um. Yeah. Um, apparently there's loads of stations before Ebb's Fleet. It's good to know. Is it oh, going to... Yeah. No, Ebb's, Ebb's Fleet is, uh, is about 15 minutes from the end. Oh, right, I see. Uh, do you even read the Steam chat? Uh, yeah. I can do. Is that a thing that I'm likely to want to do? Hold on, let's go to steampower.com here. I'm going to load it up. Uh, there we go. There we are. All right. No. So, well, look, Mike's in the Steam chat. You don't need me in the Steam. You got Mike there, and he's got all the buttons and quite a few of the answers. There you go. So, all right, I've got the Steam chat up now. It just doesn't integrate with all the other myriad chats we have from around the chatterverse. There you go. Right. Was there something particularly riveting happening in there? I, I, just out of interest. All right. There we go. There we're there. Uh, you were just wondering. Well, thanks, F Block. Ah, no, that's all right. Nice, that's all good. Who's driving? Nat, oh who's God! Driving this evening? Look, I'm good. That's I'm why nervous. we're about to have a really, really harsh break. We've gone max break. Oh God! Uh, tricky tunnels on PS4 is bugged. If you could let us know the details of the bug in question, and let's pretend this didn't just happen on the forums, then we'll uh, we'll investigate that. Yeah. When will the correct working headlights appear in the game? I didn't know they weren't in the game. Why am I not stopping? Because you applied the brakes too late? Uh, I don't even think this was a Natalie. I think I've gone flying past that. That was dreadful. How do you stop the beeping? Okay. Yeah. Now, you know, we discussed earlier that uh, that you'd been doing a, a dab of uh, practice on this. I do remember. Uh, look, it wasn't even a Natalie. Look at the state of that. Look. Did you manage to leave anything in the station? No. Nothing at all. Well, you've got two options. Option one, restart. Option two, back it up quite slowly and hope you don't fail the mission. Okay, kids, we're going to try going backwards and see what happens. Yeah. Now, this is going to make quite a few people quite unhappy. But in the spirit of, uh, of trying to get it through in one go... Uh, we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. Forgive me. Because this is highly illegal, and this is how railway accidents occur. Yeah, but I mean, but anybody who says they've never done this uh, has uh, is lying. Has that had, is it is yeah is is telling an untruth. A bogey. Like, oh, I only shot overshot by a little bit. It'll be okay. Nobody nobody's really gonna mind. Look, let's just pretend this isn't happening. It's all yeah, deliberate. Yeah, you only move the back couple of doors in. Just get it to the point where everything's fine and you'll be good. As long as you don't go do. through a signal, you should be okay. Oops. Oh. I mean, it was inevitable. It was going to happen. It's been, I've been here how long now? This is my first proper overshoot, so proper, yeah. proper one. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, surely not. Oh, the other thing you might find is that this signal does not revert to green once you're uh, once you're out of that signal block. No. It will. It will. Oh no, it has done. There you go. No, it's okay. gone red again. I believe it. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Do I have to stop at the actual stop mark? No, just 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 get close enough and uh, and let some passengers on and off. Oh, goodness me. There you go. That'll probably do it. You think? You never know. I'm going to, like, try and stop as close as I can. <laughs> the chat is, is being quite insistent that you should stop right now and open the doors. <laughs> it went to green. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> All right. Well, look, here's the thing. So, Train Sim World is fantastic because... It appeals to a wide variety of people, uh, and and the one unifying factor is a is a general appreciation for trains. But as is as we we often find, uh, there is a there is a large degree of difference between those who want uh, a whole. Be quiet! I'm I'm covering you. Um, uh, a, a wide difference between those who want a wholly authentic experience where they're going to try and recreate. Uh, the, the the style of performance of a, a real train driver and those who just want to grip it and rip it and the rules of the rail don't count as much as you might think the, see the charity shop cat the sim stands for simulator it does stand for simulator but anybody who tells you you're playing it wrong is wrong and you can play it however you like however you have fun with it one would hope that on uh, an official stream that the driver <laughs> wouldn't constantly overshoot the station. I'm but trying. They happen. They, um, they happen. I think everybody and, has uh, done it. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, but no, uh, you, you should play it how best it suits you. Uh, but please stop correctly at the next station because they're not going to go for that line of uh, of explanation again yeah it wasn't my yeah. best stop there's <clears throat> no such thing as playing it wrong <laughs> you know I, don't, I, don't, I make I make a, a fairly regular argument for a uh, a go and stop option uh, for for all the trains that we do one where all you've got is a is an accelerator and a brake even if that is a complete abstraction of the the controls that are going on because if you've got a a kid who absolutely loves trains and uh, you know they're four or five you could probably teach them this one makes it go faster this one mm. makes it stop no, go slower but when they're having to press 15 different buttons and then uh, play with alerters and set the reverser correctly and so it gets a little bit more complicated than is readily pick upable, as it were. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, a simple go stop option, I think, would be uh, would be a boon. That's not for everyone. Also, obviously, the brakes yeah. on this one compared to like the others that I've like overshot. The, this thing breaks really slowly. Well, firstly, it goes quite fast. It Secondly, does. it is quite big and therefore yeah. quite heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and uh, and even with great brakes, uh, you're you're always going to it's always going to take more time to slow down a fast train a, a mm -hmm. heavy train moving at speed than it is some lightweight commuter service. Definitely. Yeah. Oopsie. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, Liam's already completed four out of the five scenarios. Nice. All right, nice one. Um, that's good. Did I just compare Natalie to a five-year-old? Maybe obliquely, but that was not my intention. There's the shoe fits. And also, she's on the opposite side of the country, so what's she going to do? Um, do you really? Do you... Besides which, she'll, she'll be along You to sure you want to drink? But I'm, I'm completely making a mess in Munich. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, there you are. Uh, in the community challenge, if you repeat scenarios, does that count? I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, who would know? Community challenges. Have we got any? Have we got a Charles in the house? Because Charles would know. We probably uh, don't. Find, but find. I, I can find out if we don't have the answer now. I can find out tomorrow. 
Now, what's your braking point? At what speed oh, and shh. at what distance do you need to put the brakes on? Oh, wait, I thought, um, like, 900 yards out? Just want to start. 900 yards at what speed? I don't know. But that's, well, you, but that's, that's just it. See, see t train guy knows. Who's train uh, guy? You can stop oh, from yeah. 90 at uh, around about 900 yards if you're feeling brave. That's usually where we. That's usually how we go, isn't it? <laughs> it's the first thing to learn on any. Well, it's the first thing I do when I'm after I figured out how to get it moving. Um, is uh, is at what speed will maximum brakes bring me to a complete stop? Over what distance? Mm -hmm. uh, and then you make a uh, a mental reference of that, and then you can kind of do on the fly calculations to go like, oh, when do I need to stop for the next one? And if you've done that original calculation, you can pretty much get close and not overshoot as long as you're paying attention. Yeah. Uh, right, so what was the question with regards to the community challenge? Is it, can you repeat the scenarios? Uh, uh, yes, can you do them again? I'll oh, find here we out. go. Here's, here oh. is, there is a new community challenge running. It's Mike. I've got Mike on the back phone. Uh, and it, that is to complete 40,000 scenarios by March 8th. And yes, in that case, I don't even need to see his next line. Yes, you can do the same scenario over and over again. Nice. Uh, the reward is some very pretty southeastern wallpapers, profile mm -hmm. images for Dovetail Live, and he thinks some Facebook covers. That's not confirmed. Facebook lovers, uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait. And is there a train bow? Package, but uh, I'm sure it's quite appealing. No, it's not. So yes, you can play the same you can play the same scenario over and over again. But if the community complete forty thousand scenarios before the end of March, no, before the start of March, uh, then uh, you get some odds and ends. You get a couple of JPEGs. Have fun. Gotta love me some of them JPEGs. But hey, yeah, you can say that you know you were part of it. <laughs> you know what we should do for community challenge rewards? Go on. I a never to be rep repeated decal that appears in the livery designer. <laughs> right? So if you get, and all it needs to be is like a one in a medal, right? For, for completing community challenge one, or a two in a medal for completing community uh, challenge two. And then, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're never, they're never repeated. Apparently we've done that. Oh, all right then. Um, phew. Well, that uh, makes my ideas rather redundant then, don't it? Uh, how do we prove we did the community challenge? You don't need to prove anything, George. The game just knows. Yeah. It's watching you. Yeah, absolutely. Are we, uh, are we, are we stopping here? It looks like we're stopping in time for this one. We are, and we're coming to a nice gentle stop instead, yeah, very of, nice. instead of my usual stops. Very nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, no, that's, that's, uh, that's good darts. Well and, done. And that's how to do it. Yeah. I, I've uh, now demonstrated. Lights, Mark. Uh, Mark's saying we've got some signal light problems. Which which signal lights are you referring to? Uh, do you get the Trainbow livery with the route? I saw it in the trailer. Yes, you do, Samwise. The, the, the problem, or, or is it Sammy's? I think it's probably Sammy's. Um, you do get it, but it turns up randomly. So, I uh, like so that every, it turns up every uh, javelin that's in there has a random chance of being a, a three nine five, but there will only be a one in operation at any one time. So, uh, so it is entirely random whether it turns up or not each time you play, which will mean that every time you see it, it's a special occasion. Exactly. You'll see the you'll see the train bow and feel all happy. Well, it does make it a little bit more special, doesn't it? Well, it makes it scarcer, and scarcity drives something or other. So that's that's good too. Um, yeah, yeah. As long as you're logged into to Dovetail Live, that's yes, that's the important bit on the community challenge. You have to be logged into Dovetail Live, and uh, and then your uh, your scenario activities oh, no. uh, will be registered. I went into reverse by mistake. Damn it! I pushed the wrong button. You know that is the problem with using the keyboard sometimes. Uh, to explain the signal problem, if you pass the signal, then reverse the train in front of said signal, it will get stuck on red regardless of what you try. I would say that that probably isn't a bug. That is probably more likely to be working as intended. Um, if anything, it shouldn't have let that just blow through that signal in reverse uh, when she overshot the station. Um, yeah, no, that, that I would say was probably 
probably was. Are we working on new routes? We're always working on new routes. There are another two, three in development at the moment um, because we run multiple route development teams. It's not one team to, to fix them all. It's, uh, it's one team to uh, do one and then they move on to the next one. Uh, shall we try and do a kernel crew? Uh, will the will the three seven five be my next competitor on my speed challenge? Oh, that could be fun. Um, For those who have not seen my my speed challenge, I chuck uh, I chuck various trains down the Isle of Wight as fast as possible, and I have a suspicion because um, I ran the ICE down it. No, you can't run the ICE down; it's too long. What did I run? Oh no! I ran the ICE down uh, down East Coast Way and derailed it by going too fast. Well done. Uh, is the issue of TSW two constantly asking you to log back into Dovetail Live sorted yet? It's going to continue to come up from time to time, Dean. Most of the time, it will let you stay in, uh, but once in a while, um, yeah, it, it, one, it, once in a while, uh, it, it it will forget that you're that you you logged in. Don't know mm. what causes that, but we are aware of it. And uh, see you later. Just told me to stop crossing the streams. Yeah, all right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, no. My my bad. No, I cross cross the streams. Uh, will we preview the routes from third parties such as Crane Creek? Yes. Yeah. Asterisk. Uh, it will more likely be the uh, we'll have the development team on uh, to talk about their own route uh, when they're ready to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So uh, so there we go. Uh, will you see new stuff on the next roadmap? Some new stuff, probably. But uh, new routes, I haven't been given the go-ahead to put any new routes on yet. Are there any plans to extend it down to Dover? Not at the moment, no. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Good. Right. Next. Uh, are there any plans to extend it down to Ashford? Not at the moment. Um, if I could summarise that, there are no plans to extend anything anywhere at the moment. There we are. Yeah. Uh, good. Right. Yeah. yeah. There we are. Uh, any news on the class four six five? Coming up fairly soon. The four six five. I we don't have a date yet, unless Mike wants to throw uh, throw one in my direction. Um, but uh, uh, but we'll uh, I'll find out. But it's not it's not far off, but I don't believe we have a date for it yet. Rail talk. Why is Matt shouting rail talk? Uh, that's what we just had coming past the other way. You saw oh. That, you saw that retro train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other way. That's a rail talk. Okay, I see. Stop. Uh, is Natalie driving without optional safety systems? The key word there, Liam, is optional. So that would be yes. Stop. Because uh, because by default they're they're disabled. Oh my god, this thing is really hard to stop. Uh, how did the rail tours show up on the PIS? Good question, Matt. Do the how do the do the rail tours turn up just like anything else, or do they get a special display on uh, on passenger information screens? What's the best route suggestion you've seen so far? Ooh. Oh, Jack, that's a really tough one because. Uh, that's entirely subjective. Um, the uh, uh, the best route suggestion would be uh, one that I really wanted to see personally. You see, um, uh, in terms of beyond that, uh, no, there you go. Oh, Matt's Matt's replied in the chat. Uh, if you have a rail tour service, it shows up on the PIS as Medway Explorer or Medway Wanderer. That's cool. Oh, I saw someone saying, is this thing supposed to have the worst brakes? Um, it's probably my driving, not the brakes that are the problem here. No, no, no. It, it's it, the, the brakes that it's got are commensurate to the uh, to the weight of the train, or it, it, it slows them at the, at the rate that the... Yeah. Uh, and, uh, in, a, in a way, appropriate for the train itself. Which will be um, why I'm struggling with it. And, uh, yeah, and it takes getting used to. It. I mean, if yeah. you spend your your time driving, uh, you know, DMUs and EMUs, uh, then it's a uh, you know you you get used to a certain level of performance when it comes to the brakes because they're quite light. Mm -hmm. yep. This one is not light, and uh, and given that it's a it's a train by and large that is designed to run over longer distances, 
um, then uh, you know you will take more time to slow it down. Blame the driver, not the train. Always a driver should always know what their train is capable of. Uh, now that uh, that the train takes longer to slow down just says, well, okay, you need to build up a little bit of familiarity. Uh, is that. the three nine five in the livery designer? It should be. I'd see no reason why it wouldn't be. Should be, yeah. Should be. You got the lights on? I put them on, but Other they're on. Other than your cab light, of course. They're on the the daylight one. The... Okay. All right. I promise. Yeah. See? <laughs> uh, Matt says, yes, the 395 is in the livery designer. You can go and uh, go and tinker with it and create the livery that you want. Nice. Make a, make a 395 that is all train bow all the time. Oh, I'd love that. I want to see that. Someone make that and then tag me when you've done it. I want to see it. Yeah. Well, you're doing uh, some livery design, actually. I am. Uh, do you know what you're designing yet? I might. I do. It's a surprise. Oh, it's a surprise. Okay, fine. Nope, I mean, right. I could give a hint that would probably guess to the theme. No, no, don't bother. If you want to keep it as a surprise, keep it as a, as a surprise. Okay. okay. Don't don't bow to public pressure. Just you know, keep it as a surprise. Keep it keep it zesty. Keep it interesting. I'm just failing at slowing down today. <sighs> it is my first time driving it. That's the excuse. Do keep your eye on the signals. It's not like it doesn't give you a heads up. It's, you were reading the chat again, weren't you? No. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I was. Okay, I'm guilty. <laughs> yeah, it's really enough. hard not to when it's right there. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, where can we find a timetable for this other than in the game? Uh, we used to publish timetables for all the all the services stuff we put out. Is it in the manual? Um, I don't know. I've not thumbed through the manual yet, and I, I usually give it a look on uh, on launch day. Are you shooting over, overshooting again? Oh, no, no way. Either. That Oops. was that was a lovely one. No timetable. All right, we need a way of making the timetables publicly accessible because people like that stuff. Hmm. You know, in fact, you know, the more the more we can provide. In fact, I don't think there is. Um, I don't think there is an upper limit to the amount of information we could release about a route when we uh, when we put it out. Uh, community manager not reading the chat seems counter to the job role. That's, that's why I'm here. That's that's why you've got me. I, I, I'm here to to make sure that uh, that questions get answered and so forth. There, there you go. It's true, he is. Uh, while while we've got the expert up there. Uh, showing you how to uh, not drive it. How to run the truck. Right. <laughs> Enter the Dragon says Sam is also kind of community manager, and that's the perfect description <laughs> of my role. Kind kinda. Of community manager. <laughs> yeah, only until Monday. Oh my gosh. Only until Monday. Yep. There you go. That's good. Uh, right. How about publish an iPad app with all the time? Don't know, Thelonious. That'd be great. Right, that would be great. Uh, but it, it again, it just comes down to where do we take the time that we've got to put stuff together and and get the most out of it. Um, and uh, and there you go. Am I retiring? I was retired before I took this caper on. Uh, I'm 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 sl I'm slipping a little into the background again. Just, just ever so slightly, just gently into the background, and going back to doing uh, a, bit, a bit of research stuff and helping with a bit of design stuff, and I'll still be looking after the roadmap. Okay, I have a question about tunnels and stuff because obviously when you go in them, they're really dark. Are you supposed to turn the lights brighter while you're in them, or are you supposed to just leave it as like the daylight? No, no, you just, you leave it on the correct setting because the the headlights aren't there to help you see where you're going. It's for other people that's, to see. That's a nice byproduct. Yeah, it's to let other people know that you're in motion. Okay, yeah. I was just wondering if if it's something like if you did brighten them while you were in there. It would have made sense. Are we not going to be seeing you here anymore? Unfortunately, they're not going to let me stop doing it. <laughs> yeah, you're not, not getting rid of him that easily. Apparently, I represent some kind of value for money. I have no idea what that means. Um, but uh, But there you go. No, I'll still be doing streams from time to time. I say from time to time. This is this is uh, many as Matt that Mike will try and uh, enable me to do. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Can we have a DTG retirement party stream? No, because I I honestly think that most of you won't notice the difference. Um, 
<laughs> uh, yeah, okay, there you go. Uh, any chance of a Swallow HST or Class 800 for GWR Mainline? Um, there's nothing on the cards right now, but we do take your suggestion seriously. If you've got a suggestion, go and post it over in the suggestions forum or get someone else to do it for you because we routinely go through and we total up all of the suggestions that we've had and then we look at the the number of, of replies and the amount of conversation they've generated mm -hmm. and we use that to evaluate uh, how popular that would be were we to make it so if we're looking for uh, a new route or a new loco to make and uh, and we kind of go oh it's like there's like three or four ideas that might work there uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll consult the community and the feedback that you've given so far so um, it's also a really good place to, to kick those ideas around with other people because they'll go like oh what if you were to move it in that direction or over in this, this direction mm -hmm. someone asked if I'm executive level now no I'm not executive level I'm very happy doing what I'm doing thank you very much um, <laughs> No, just that's just there you go. Just, just I'm very happy doing what I'm doing. You've if I wanted more responsibility, I've been offered more responsibility. <laughs> but I went like, ah, I'm all right. You've um, caused so much speculation now. I'm not really going anywhere. I'm staying at Dovetail, um, but uh, but I'm going back into doing more research. Uh, when is the <laughs> next roadmap update? Uh, that'll be next week, next Tuesday. Uh, yeah. Relatable question. Uh, why do you not get voices in the scenarios and only captions of what people are saying? Ooh, I don't know. You still have? I don't know. I don't no, recall that in the, in scenarios. Yeah, I not don't know. Sure. What is what is my new role? It's not. It, it's my old role. I'm going back to my old role. Uh, but I've I've got a little bit of of uh, design team work that I do as well. Uh, to offer some additional perspectives when we're talking about big new plans and schemes and things. Um, and uh, and primarily the, the perspective I bring is from uh, a broad spectrum of games, but also in knowing you happy-go-lucky train fans really rather well. Uh, it allows me to make sure that your what what I believe your opinion would be to make sure that that is represented. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm a senior pleb. Yeah, that'll do. That's as good a name as any. Um, uh, will there be London Waterloo via, to Weymouth via Eastleigh? That's that's largely specific. Um, says Smurfy. There you go. Oh, the good good bridge. It's some good bridge action. This most definitely. You want to be outside the train for this, strictly speaking. Oh, let me out. Yeah, if you, if you can. Oh, this is a summary. Have you broken your microphone? No. Yeah. There you go. Am I still here? Yeah. I don't know. Never mind. Summary. We're not looking at the summary. We're looking at the bridge. Some people just don't appreciate a good bridge. Look. Now, I am not one of those people. I flipping love a bridge, me. Oh, well, that's uh, beautiful. The bridge is magnificent. And off we go. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. I'm sorry, but the submarine was the coolest bit there. We've shown off the submarine on every single stream so far. Oh, oh dear. Oops. Are toilets being worked on? No, they're not. They're a running joke that I make uh, because uh, I'm, I'm an advocate for if there is a door or a button uh, and I can get to it, I want to be able to open it and I want to be able to press it. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I don't care if all it does is go click. I still want to be able to interact with it. The good news is everybody else wants that too, but it's a heck of a lot of work <laughs> to make all of that stuff accessible. And that would be an awful um, lot of buttons. And, uh, well, I mean, you know, for starters, you've got to go and model all of the interiors of these door, uh, whatever the door is on the front of. You've got to model the interior of that, and it doesn't contribute anything to the game. Um, or the simulator, if you want to call it a simulator, call it a simulator. We call it a simulator. I, I, I like to think of it more in, in game terms, but I think of everything in game terms. Fully functional toilets. Well, quite. And if you're going to let someone go in the door, then you've got all of the you've got the foot pedal, if it uses a foot pedal, the locking mechanism on the door. You want all of that work. Will toilets be on the roadmap before passenger announcements? I'll tell you something for nothing. They better not be. Passenger announcements are a big deal. 
passenger announcements build on the uh, on the immersion of uh, of driving it as though it's real, and that's that's what we want to give people is is a is a sense of if you are looking for an escapist experience whereby you can feel like you're doing the real thing, that's where we want to get to. We get closer sometimes. Sometimes we're not quite as far away. We're not quite as close. But more often than not, we're that's what we're that's what we're aiming for. And uh, and passenger announcements would add a big deal to that. Yeah. I saw a question earlier. Someone was asking: Are we angling more towards the arcade game type of thing, or towards a simulator? It is nowhere near arcade game. Exactly. No, not even close. Yeah. Not in your wildest dreams is it an arcade game. Not even close. Not even slightly. So um, just to be clear, that's be not ridiculous. even close. It, it's not. It's not even in, on the same planet. Yeah, just just not even. Not even close. Um, that, they don't turn like that, Dean. That word that you've used there that has largely been retired. You know. Because uh, that's a punching down word, and we and uh, you know, you can they they can turn stupidly. We'll allow that. That's allowed. But you know, there's you know, keep it keep it nice. Uh, it's an arcade game on the roadmap. <laughs> and yet, uh, there's room in the world for a train-based arcade game. In fact, there's uh, uh, Denshi to go. There you go. Um, yeah, Denshi to go is is uh, is terrific to look at, and I think it's available as a standalone now. It's out of Japan. So Why do we have to go so Japanese. slow? Um, uh, no, but that's an arcade game. But you see, where where people come up with this arcade game suggestion from is because we've got collectibles, which are a game based thing, mm -hmm. and we've got a score, which is a game based thing, and we have all kinds of helpers because we're friendly but you can turn all of that gubbins off you can just choose not to interact with any of it um and uh and and then you can go you can go full immersion you can get to the point where you have to read the signals where you have to know the route uh where you have to be able to read track conditions and uh, and all you've got is the is the train and your own wits or you can play in a slightly more friendly fashion with the hard on or you can go out and explore on foot, and there be things for you to find while you're out there. It is uh, it is appealing to a, a, a wide uh, a wide group of uh, of different people who like trains. But the one thing it's not is an arcade game. Um, just want to take a minute to thank the chat for um, reminding me that Ebb's fleet is coming up. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you'll know when you're there because yeah. I go. I used to commute from here every day. Did you really? Yeah. Is it quite well, funny yeah, seeing wait, it? Wait until I say, we'll, wait until we get there, and I'll tell you. Um, yeah. There you go. Is it bizarre seeing it like on the game? Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see. It. In fact, you're going to pull into the platform that I used to uh, used to catch a train from every day. Although I did use the downstairs platforms as well. I'd go for whichever one turned up faster. Okay. Uh, so I, who said? Uh, Struz. Strezlecki, uh, B. Strezlecki said that the penalty for speeding must be much more in this game. I agree. Having uh, radically abused the scoring system, yeah, uh, in the uh, original Bakerloo challenge, um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's very, it's very straightforward. Uh, is uh, yeah, the the penalty for speeding really, really isn't isn't enough. Yeah. You You're going to be the reason that gets changed if it gets changed. What? The the scoring? Yeah. It needs rebalancing, that's all. I uh, agree. Uh, and, no, Matt makes a very good point. Is that in the original train simulator, more often than not, you would end up with a score in the negatives. Yeah. Uh, so it would be like negative 400,000. And by the time you have like a couple hundred points in the negative, you go, I'll oh, stuff it, I'll just go however fast I like. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Uh, whereas uh, with Train Sim World, your score only ever goes up, mm -hmm. uh, but how much it goes up is based on, uh, you know, uh, how well you are adhering to the timetable, primarily, and the speed limit secondarily. Now you see that's that's where the where the issue is. What it should do is it should base it on your adherence to the speed limit from point A to point B. Yep. And it could be on a signal-to-signal -signal basis. 
rules should be first. Yeah, if you break the rules, you should burn your points. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Main more points for using safety, safety, systems. safety systems. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the more points still for having the hub turned off. Uh, will you ban rule breakers? No, <laughs> it's not. It's not Call of Duty. It's not a multiplayer game, um, and, and it's not a competition. Also, I would I would argue all day long, all day long, that there should never be public scoreboards. Do you know why? No, do tell. Because all it will do is it will encourage people to figure out how to cheat the scoring system. Uh, yeah, and you're right. And then a week after they've done that, you will have 500 people in joint first place with 999999999 as their score. Whistle. What? So whistle's the horn, right? Uh, no, there's or a whistle it... and a horn. Where's the whistle? Uh, or is it a button? I think it's over on the rightish side, I recall, from where Matt used it. Uh, okay. Do people speed run this game? Uh, they drive real fast. I guess you could speed run it's it. It's the horn, but I can't see a whistle. Oh, there. Deeper. Nifty. Is TSW speed running a thing? It could be. It could be. I died. How would you do it? How would you make... The, the, the challenge is in making speed running interesting. Um... Just driving real fast and burning the speed limit. Apparently, but there's no real challenge there. What you would need you. is speed runs with stops. So yes, you would have to ignore the speed limits in order to make it even slight. That's the the bigger challenge initially um, is uh, is getting on time. That's that's mm. the most difficult thing is to be perfectly on time at every stop uh, while using everything on. But there's no reason not to do speed runs if that's your if that's your <laughs> thing. Uh, uh, what's your opinion on people accessing southeastern high speed early? What's We'd your rather opinion? they didn't. Yeah. There you go. Uh, will we ever do a development stream like making a route or a train? We want to. It's something mm. that we've got on the cards for this year. Yeah. That is is something that we're exploring. It's difficult, so it probably won't be a live stream. It will probably be a bunch of pre-records, but with live presenters to kind of answer questions at the mm -hmm. same time. Um, if we were in the office, it would be a heck of a lot easier to do, but we've been remote now for almost exactly a year. Uh, Dovetail went, uh, locked itself down, out, over, uh, about two weeks before the rest of the country did. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Like, like Rivet did. Yeah. Like, like, like Rivet. Yeah. That would be a that would be a good way to go. Um, but it, I mean, it largely depends on the developer in question. Uh, it, it, one of the things that that we found when talking to the the uh, the Dovetail team is is that there are very few people who are actually uh, willing to come on stream with us. Uh, well, it's not always I, easy. The, well, it's it, and to be honest. That's not their job. <laughs> they, they they shouldn't have to feel obliged to come on the stream. Um, that you know their, uh, their their job is purely to, uh, to to make great stuff. So that's the important bit. Um, uh, it can be a bit scary. We're still working. Uh, Carl says, "Have you ever thought about adding a train manager mode, such as checking tickets and opening and closing doors?" Yes, we have. I can't say any more than that because that's as far as we've got. Other than that would be fun. Uh, rather like having a uh, having a conductor on a on a U.S. Uh, freight service or on a on a conductor based service um, of having additional roles that you could play that aren't the driver. Uh, the first thing we'd have to do is uh, is make uh, a proper AI driver that could uh, operate any train autonomously and then react to those roles being done. Um, uh, Steam is a good example for that. So we're working on Steam, and uh, the, the one natural role that comes into play there would be the the fireman, um, and uh, and working out supplemental roles would be very really important. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, the, the one I, I've suggested in the past would be uh, station manager. Yeah. So uh, so your your role is not to get on the train. Yours is to run the station. I'd, I'd rather enjoy that, but then you see, you, it's quite straightforward to to 
ever expand what uh, what train sim world would uh, encompass, um, and uh, and we've got you know we've uh, we've ex- exactly most haunted says a uh, scope creep. Very much so, and uh, and we uh, we regularly have discussions about if we were to broaden the scope of what this is, what would that look like, what would that involve, and uh, and we've spoken about kind of different, I guess you call them player classes or, or character types or roles mm-hmm. or or however you want to describe it. We've we've had conversations along those lines. Absolutely nothing to announce, but it has been discussed. Are there plans on improving the lighting or skybox? Plans would be the wrong word. Other than what would be the right word is awareness. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have awareness of the shortcomings of the lighting, and lighting is a tough one to fix because it takes so long to, to test it out because you have to bake lighting in um, uh, in between uh, adjustments. We know our lighting isn't right. Uh, it's it's more right in some places than it is in others, uh, but in the main it's it's just off it's it's just it's just not quite what you want um and that could be whether you're talking about how brightly things are illuminated or uh uh, how much shadow things cast where shadows pop in all of that kind of thing um so we know that uh that there is that we can do better with lighting uh the skybox same story um, and and whether that's a sky box or whether it's a new sky and some uh, and some better cloud system going on there, it's all on our our wish list, our aspiration list. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it's not something we've got any concrete kind of fixes for at the moment. Ooh, Ebsley is next. Ebsley is next. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, will you fix the class 395 door opening during moving? Now, I asked Matt this before the stream started because I saw the comment. Um, uh, because the TGV allows you to open the doors while the train is in motion. Does and, it really? Uh, and that's or is... as it is in reality. And oh. one wonders whether that is also the case with regards to the uh, the old 395 here. And uh, Matt said he didn't know. Either way, there is a simple fix to uh, to having the doors not open while you're in motion. Don't try and open the doors while the train is moving. Honestly, um, if it is a bug, then we'll we'll, uh, we'll get that road mapped. Yeah. Um, uh, is it the road map next week? Yes, it is. Uh, what's the game? Hello, Zapas. Uh, this is Train Sim Worlds. Yes. Two. And this is the, oh, the brand new Southeastern high speed add on. I think I was Trans- going a bit fast there. We can't go on the lower Ebbs Fleet platforms. No, you can't. You're quite right. Too fast, you too can't. fast, too fast. No, that's the thing you can't do. Uh, do you know what UK route we're going to do next? No, we haven't announced it yet. Not yet. Not yet. As soon as. We'll stick it on the roadmap as soon as we get the green light from the. Uh, uh, from from the Illuminati to stick it on the uh, on the big list. There you go. Uh, the Nicole, Illuminati, really? Nicole, I missed your question. Sorry. There you go. This is my platform. Um, yeah. Everyone's yeah, shouting at me to break. Don't worry, we did it. I got there. I braked. Yeah. It was a bit harsh, but it's okay. No one panic. All right. This so, is the one where I have to. Have under control. I do now. There you go. Uh, what's going on with Train Sim 2021? I try and play it crashes it every 10 minutes or so with an out-of-memory error, even though you have 32 gigabytes of memory. Don't know, Ryan. Right. Uh, get, in, uh, get in touch with customer support, and they'll investigate it for you. So this is the one where I push control, right? I think This it is. is the thing where you push control, right. Yeah, this yeah, is the this one. Is, this is where you need to switch power over. Yeah, so I do that, and then I push this twice. Because goes up. And then you push it again. There you go. I don't know. Right. How do you know if you've done it right? How, well, you, the train will, will no longer move if you haven't done it properly. Yeah, but also, is there any way? Some, is there any indication of knowing when you've done it right? There's probably some cash readout uh, business that you'll get. 
Uh, what made Dovetail want to make Train Sim World and Train Simulator from the start? Like, what reason why you wanted to make a Train Simulator type of game? That's down to Paul, uh, the uh, the CEO. Is uh, he has been a a, a lifelong uh, rail fan and uh, and had the opportunity to uh, to work on what was uh, Microsoft. Uh, rail simulator. I did simulator. it. Train simulator. Whatever, whatever it's called. Back in the the early two thousands, he had, he had the opportunity to uh, to work on that as part of his role at EA, and uh, and then uh, went to, uh, and, and then set up his own company to do more of the same, basically to uh, to take it and run with it and make the trains that he always wanted made. Sam, we're moving. Oh, in that case, you got that right. But yeah. Matt says in the top left corner of the front desk there are two yellow lights one is line which is oh, at the top these that ones. says you are getting power and it should be on the one below is mcb slash vcb and that should be off where are we looking i don't know top left corner of the desk top look look for something that says line and is lit up but you know what you don't need to do what that because you're moving so clearly it's working yeah I kind of want to know now. Yeah, I'm just. So pr I'm happy I did it. Yay! Why does it cost three hundred quid? Uh, well, it costs three hundred quid today. If you come back six months from now, it will cost closer to about four hundred and fifty quid. And then you come back in a couple of years' time, it will cost closer to a grand. And here's the reason: it doesn't. It doesn't cost that much because you're not supposed to buy all of it. Um, it is very much like picking up the catalogue for a model railway maker, a, a model train set maker, and uh, and going, I'm buying all of it. I'm buying one of everything. Uh, that's not what people do, that, and that's not what we expect you to do. Mm -hmm. It's not like another game where you need all of it to, yeah. uh, to, to be complete for it to, oh, no, otherwise I'm missing functionality. The functionality we bring across... Uh, to, to every new route that we make uh, the only reason to buy one of the add-ons is because you particularly want to drive that train on that route I mean uh, if, if it doesn't interest you, don't buy it for a start, your machines would um, struggle to hold everything even if you tried to get everything, eventually you'd run out of space you will run out of space um, but more than that uh, is you won't have time to play it all I know uh, I mean, uh, we'll get some we'll get some feedback on the chat from this one. What is the most time you've spent on a single route by estimate? If you est estimate how much uh, how much how many hours you've spent on your favourite route, uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bet that we're gonna have a couple of people that crack a thousand. Um, but uh, seven a seven seven. <laughs> Don't, you're not really, you're not really reinforcing my argument here, um, uh, but no, I might. I, the, my favourite route, I've probably done, I don't know, like fifty hours, give or take, uh, something like that. You'll get as much out of a single route uh, as you would a full game. Uh, so, so each each route is intended to to have enough in there to uh, to keep you engaged for a, a significant. There we go. Now, now we're rattling on. Vince has done 950 hours, as an estimate, wow. uh, on Great Western Rail. That's full game hours. In fact, that is obsessive level full game <laughs> hours. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Way to go. Um, yeah. But that's the point, is, is that if you were to buy everything and, and play them exhaustively, uh, then uh, you wouldn't have time to do it all. It would be the only thing you do. Think of uh, think of Train Sim World and Train Simulation generally as not a game; it's a hobby. It's uh, it's the it's the same as collecting anything, uh, okay. where where you'll sink a ton of time into it. So the reason that we've got so much stuff available is that we want to make sure that everybody has something that they want, um, uh, and as a result, we don't expect everybody to buy everything. That's that, because it doesn't make any sense for them to do so. Uh, if you're a fan of, of German high-speed freight, uh, it's it's less likely that you're going to buy uh, American commuter services. Oh yeah, you might want to, 
but uh, but if uh, if you've got a particular f style of rail that you you're a fan of, then we try and provide it for that. I love uh, how fast we're going. Quieter on AC. I don't know because I can't hear it. Is the cab quieter on AC? No, sounds about the same. Sounds about the same. Okay. Yeah, sounds about the same. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, in the PS4 version, the display boards on platforms do not work on the maps. On the maps. I don't. I don't quite follow your question. Uh, Toby, do you want to have another swing at that? Slightly rewording it. Uh, do I feel like the quality of routes has fallen over time? No, I, uh, no, I don't. I, th I think that the I think here's the thing is that I, with Southeastern particularly, um, the the expectation was probably the highest we've had. Uh, the the level of expectation for this route is probably the highest we had, and the fact that this one has come up in the shape that it has. Uh, has left a, a, a bigger than usual gap between expect, expectation and reality. Yeah. So, uh, so I mean, obviously, we're going to still keep on working on it. I mean, that's the other thing is that we're a, that this is a live game. Um, for those uh, that might not know, why do you think there was that expectation for this one more than uh, the others? It's, it's the only high-speed rail service in the UK. Uh, the UK is a, a large part of our audience, um, and uh, and just it's a, it's a highly anticipated route. We know that the southeastern services are very uh, are, are, are very heavily anticipated. Mm -hmm. That said, we know that with our our first pass at this, we did come up short. Yeah. Um, most definitely. Uh, but I mean, the, the, the way I describe it is that if you if you're familiar with the the routes that we put out, we've got kind of an average, right? We've got an average of of, of what we hit, and sometimes we bounce just over it, and sometimes we come in just under it. Um, the general progress is for more. The, the general sense is in a uh, uh, is more moving, more forward progression in terms of making things uh, better overall, and that can be the addition of passenger information screens. When we get around to it, it'll be you know the the evolution of weather, and it will be the the length of the route that we've got going on. Um, and sometimes we do a better job with the scenery, and sometimes we don't do quite as good a job with the scenery, and uh, that's. I, I, I described it earlier as being a little bit alchemical in nature is you can take all of the same components uh, put them together and sometimes it will come up uh, better than the sum of the parts and other times it will come up not quite as good even though all of the right components were in there um, I don't, we hit strongly sometimes when we weren't expecting to do so but even then it comes down to your own your own take on things if you don't think they're as good as they used to be I would point you at uh, at Munich or at LGV, both really, really strong routes. Um, is South is Southeastern as good a route as those two? That's up to you to decide. Uh, we'll that, the the sense that I get is that the uh, the shortfall in uh, expectation versus reality might mean that the the review score ends up being a bit lower. But is mm. it on a par with other stuff we've done? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I have uh, a question. I don't see a radical difference. Um, but then, you know, I work for the company, some guys be a bit biased and say you can either believe what I say or you can kind of go, he works for the company, he's going to be very biased. And that's entirely up to you as well. But that's that's my take on it anyway. How come but, there are two yeah. different knobbly bits? What? Um, that That's not a question that makes a whole lot of sense. Look, like, right, you've got that one there and then you've got that one there. You know, I'm not seeing this in real time, right? Yeah. But you'll see it now in a second. Oh, have you got LGV turned on? Oh, uh, no, not not LGV. Sorry, uh, the, the piece of the LZB. What does the red one LZB. mean? Is that TVM? There you go. <laughs> I knew I'd get there eventually. Oh, TVM is always on. So why am I being shouted at for this one, and why is this one here? But, well, there you go. It should have told you in the tutorial. Either way, you've got to slow down. It probably did. I'm just curious now. Come on, Sam. You should uh, know this. Oh, there you go. Uh, so the, ra the the red one is the track speed limit, right? So right. This one, if you didn't have to stop, that would be the, the speed that you were actually allowed to go. Um, uh, but the blue one is the, the speed that you should be following uh, because that is the current speed limit. Cool. I'm going to pretend like what's happening isn't currently happening. Oh, uh, not again. Not completely. You're missing Stratford. <laughs> it's fine. Birthplace of Shakespeare. 
I'm on the whole platform still, just not the bit of the platform I'm supposed to be on. No, just, just not gonna happen. Look, you see, it's fine. Look at that. You see, I'm still on. Loads of space. Uh, uh, you can, you, you can, can run a marathon. You like, but uh, that doesn't mean that you are accurate. Okay, your nose is still in the platform. I'll allow it. Thank you. But no, it's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, you you what? You have switched to kilometers per hour now. Yes, I have. So uh, so just remember that when you're doing your in your head uh, on the fly calculations for stopping distances. I mean, it would also help if I actually looked at how far away I was to needing does, to stop. Hold on, does it still display the distance in yards, even though it switched over to kilometers per hour? Oh, it might. I mean, yeah. I'm not blaming the game. This is all me. Look, I've even, I've, I, I have my sat nav set up in meters rather than <laughs> right because uh, because it is a scientific measurement rather than just what some loonies did 300 years ago when they went like how big is this compared to a horse <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, uh, no so uh, so meters I I actually you know I actually prefer meters a lot way and we've just got to drag the rest of the country kicking and screaming into the 20th century <laughs> yeah there you go yeah yeah uh settings are on auto so uh, the the reason that the speed limit changes is because uh it does so in reality so uh the the train will tell you the speed in uh, in kilometers per hour during the high speeds during the uh, the ac section mm -hmm. uh, and then it will switch over to uh, to miles when you get to the dc section i know and I, as long as you don't measure the temperature in Fahrenheit, well, okay, yes. I mean, that there are there are limits, but even then, even up until the 1980s, they used to give the temperature in Fahrenheit as well as in centigrade or Celsius. It's the same thing. It is. Two names, same thing. Makes sense. Um, this might be an oddity, but I'm really enjoying the road. And uh, thank you for all the work you put in and the inevitable work on the patch. <laughs> thank you in advance for the patch. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's I mean, it's never desirable that we uh, that we patch so close to launch. Um, it, yeah, we'd, we prefer to gather a bunch of feedback and then address the most significant. But in this case, we do know some things that were that were missing, but they were felt not to be. Uh, mission critical. For example, the the windscreen wipers making a noise. Yeah. That uh, uh, was it. That came down to a could we live without it initially, knowing that we've already got to fix it. Um, yeah. There you go. Uh, is the three nine five really that quiet? Das, uh, it's debatable. Probably not. Ambient sound is one that we are a little quiet on, generally speaking. But uh, Matt. Uh, I had a conversation with Matt earlier on this week about sound generally and one of the things that we've always done as a, as a policy is when you've got uh, a repeating sound so the sound of the, the engine running at high speed for example it will gently dip over time because it just becomes annoying to have a constant ja, 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 or however the, the, the training question sounds going for 45 minutes without a break while you're while you're cruising along so that so that sound level actually dips off a little bit to avoid it becoming repetitive now well, no not repetitive uh, 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 annoying so you can keep, so you don't have to monkey with your own volume settings the game will kind of do it for you now where that's where that hasn't paid off quite so well is in the mix that then brings in ambient sound and uh, an additional sounds that you would expect to hear here uh, whether that's the train interacting with the rails or where you're going over junctions um, you would expect a little bit more external sound uh, generally speaking so the the sound isn't right as we're doing it right now it's not everything it could be we know it's 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 on the you know it's quite high up on the list when it comes to um, uh, 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 really nailing it for immersion purposes, so, so it's it's one we're aware of. Now, Wait, I, mean, I need to slow down more. People have pointed out the three nine five is actually quite a quiet train inside anyway, and I can I can I can speak to that because I've been on it a lot, and it is quite a quiet train on the inside anyway. But on the outside, um, 
yeah, it's uh, it's it's more a case of, of you do want it to feel like this is uh, uh, you know a, it, it shouldn't be permitted. Uh, right, let's uh, hold on. I've just got a bit of that to do. There you are. Uh, right, good. Yep. All right. I'm trying to pay a bit of attention because I was doing a dreadful job of maintaining my speed then. Oh, flipping it. All right. Oh, we're coming into some panko. Yeah. So I'm just this trying to... Now, no, you see, no, no, I'm going to watch this carefully because I did do this every day, so I'm very familiar with this. It's quite hard because, like, the speed limits change so, um... Yeah. So quickly. Yeah. No, we're not. I'm, I need to look through this for myself because I need to look out over the left side and see how much of the docks is there, uh, <laughs> because I don't think there's very much of it. I mean, sometimes we try and get as realistic a representation of the area as possible, and sometimes it's more abstracted than that because the level of detail required is significant. But there is a there's an old uh, there's an old gas works there that has been turned into some swanky flats Ooh. and so forth. Can you see the offices? Can, which offices? Ours. Or is it too far? No, you're in London. This is St Pancras. Oh, I'm in London. In London. I'm in the other... I've, oh, do you know what? Never mind. Let's <laughs> pretend like I didn't say that. Are there boats? Yes, there are boats. I don't, I, I don't know about... Train in, boat! Uh, in, in, in this one itself. Uh, but Oh, we've we got the train boat. There you go. All right. Good. I'm going to... Have a look at that in a minute. Okay. Let's stop nicely. Very good. Oh, there we go. Why, what, you've delivered what uh, what everybody uh, what everybody had hoped for. What? The. Oh, are you going to run into the buffers here? Or are no, we good? I am not. No faith. Oh, did I not go far enough? I don't think I went far enough forward. Goodness me. Nicely done. How are we compared to the uh, the timetable? Two and a bit minutes behind schedule. All right, that's not so bad. Oh, that could be worse, that could be worse. Should that's we not have... so bad. Especially we have... given that you did uh, spend a portion of the trip today going backwards. <laughs> Just saying. Just a bit. Good. Here it is in all its glory. Oh, yeah, yeah, be quick before it leaves. And there you go. Now, remember, when you've got cameras. Remember the cameras. There you are. That's it. No, that's good. Yeah, it's beautiful. See, it is real. It exists. All that things. <laughs> uh, are we going to address the sa the AI sounds the class three out five? But uh, it's on the list already. Uh, how far along it is, don't know yet. There you go. Uh, we'll, for the for the roadmap next week, we'll try and pull together a definitive list of what is going into the first patch that we're putting out. Um, but then later on, um, we'll uh, you know we'll do other stuff. Yep. Uh, right. Good. That's going to wrap it up for today. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. What's well, happening tomorrow? Tomorrow is isn't it you doing the the, the challenge? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then it's like launching the new challenge. Yeah. Well, hopefully you won't win this time, or else. When, I mean, I can't... it is really, really unlikely that I win. The only thing I have going in my favour is there are a lot of ways to fail this particular mission. I feel uh, like you're handicapping yourself though by putting all of the um, safety systems on. I'm handicapping everybody equally, <laughs> apart from Matt, who thinks he's good at it. Fair enough. Yeah. Anyway, should we, uh... uh yeah, look, we'll we'll talk more about what's in the patch on the roadmap next week. Uh yeah. that's that's a good time to ask about it. Meanwhile, if you do find anything odd in Southeastern High Speed, please do put it over in the tech report forum because uh, that way we can start investigating early what the uh, uh what your feedback has been. I haven't spent all week practicing. I spent this afternoon practicing. <laughs> Um, and that's only because I'm learning how to use PZB, and I really like it so far. Um, there you yeah. go. Yeah. All right. Well, well thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, oh, I only got a silver. Um, have a good evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night from me. Cheerio. Bye.